Oh, baby! This is what we're talking about. Patrick Alvine and Jim Rutherford targeting their guys. We had ourselves word from Rick Dollywall 10 minutes ago, an hour before puck drop between the Canucks and the Blackhawks, that one hot dog eating masterclass athlete himself, Phil Kessel, is in Vancouver to meet with the Canucks. He'll meet and greet with Vancouver and then we'll see where this goes. Oh boy, look at that, eh? Costco across the street will be a big selling point. That's so funny. So all hot dog jokes aside, Phil Kessel has garnered such a reputation in this city the past few weeks because we've been talking about the idea of how he apparently really likes Rick Tockett and how Tockett spoke out about Kessel and how there would be mutual interest between these two parties, the Phil Kessel party and the Vancouver Canucks. Not because Kessel is going to be an amazing player for this team by scoring 50 points, or 30 goals, not because he's going to be an 82-game Iron Man with the Vancouver Canucks, but because this is a personality that helped the Vegas Golden Knights win the Stanley Cup last year, even if he only played four games. This was a leader in the room, just a cool, calm, and chilled, relaxed guy that was able to make a positive impact to the people around him. And that was a very big testament to the Vegas Golden Knights and their success. They all said fantastic things about Kessel. Kessel has also played under Rick Tockett. He played under him twice, actually, in Pittsburgh and Arizona. And then, of course, there's that Alvin Rutherford connection with Phil the Thrill. And so now... Things are getting official. He's in Vancouver to meet with the Canucks. Now, of course, Vancouver is right now in Chicago, so it seems like Kessel may be here just a little bit early. He got in on the Tuesday flight, and now he's waiting for the Canucks to return maybe tomorrow sometime, and then he'll be able to meet with them. They say meet and greet, though, according to Rick Dollywell. That's very interesting. Meet and greet with a bunch of the people that he's already familiar with in Alvin Rutherford talk and etc. Right, and then maybe some teammates of his. Who really knows? That would be super interesting just to see that entire dynamic. But you know, we rarely get situations like this in hockey where it's like, yeah, a free agent is in this city to meet with the team, and then we'll see where it goes. I don't know about you, but. Because of all this, it seems so much more like Phil Kessel is an inevitability with the Vancouver Canucks. But of course, this is just a small little rendezvous. We'll see whether or not it actually amounts to anything, but I'd be very surprised, personally speaking, if it didn't. Like, if Phil Kessel decided to come to Vancouver, meet with Alvin, meet with Rutherford, meet with everybody that's important in this team, and then he just decided to yeet off Sino somewhere like, I don't know, Florida or whatever. Like, if he decided to go elsewhere, that'd be very strange that his entire run heading over to some other team is with a Vancouver pit stop along the way, because you rarely see something like this happen. You rarely see free agents go to target cities and have that news be leaked out into the media. But either way, with all of the rumblings, you know, there's smoke, there's fire, with all the conversations we've had about how Kessel would have mutual interest here, how the people in the Canucks organization value Kessel, and how the Vegas Golden Knights organization just cannot stop saying good things about this guy, I would not be surprised in the slightest if the former 90-point, 30-goal guy headed over to Vancouver in some sort of a limited depth role. Maybe he could be a nice bottom six forward to fill out in the fourth line with second power play time if he actually does get any games played. But if not, just having this kind of a guy in the locker room is going to be interesting. Also, interesting to note as well is the fact that he has not played since last year, so who knows if this meet and greet will also include some sort of a physical test or a physical evaluation, if the Canucks are able to see whether or not Kessel is in shape enough to be able to actually participate in practice and maybe even NHL games up to this point. If he comes to Vancouver, I'm telling you this, his Ironman streak is probably in jeopardy because it's not like he's going to go out there and play immediately every single game for the rest of the year. He'll have to beat out some of the other hardworking players that have had spots on this roster already. I'm not too sure if Phil Kessel is ready to overtake a Connor Garland on the third line, or if he's going to be better than a Sam Lafferty who has been scratched himself. Like, you know, it's going to be interesting to see where everything falls into play. But for now, the news is he is in Vancouver, he's meeting with Vancouver, and we'll see where this goes according to Rick Dollywall. Thoughts in the comment section below about Phil Kessel and his potential signing with the Vancouver Canucks. I hope you enjoyed this. And bye.